Hi guys, this is Vanessa from the Hey Math Group. I want to give you a couple tips what to do before you take the per test. Let's do it. Welcome to our section of Algebra, Evaluating Expressions. So today we're going to learn how to evaluate expressions. So let's say that they tell you, evaluate the following expression. And look, they're going to tell you that the variable has a value, in this case a equals to negative 1, and they will give you an expression. Let's remember, an expression basically is just something that looks like this. I don't have an equal, so I don't solve. Because a lot of students tell me, how do I know when it's an expression and how do I know what is an equation? Well, see, I don't have an equal, so that means that I'm going to replace a equals negative 1 into my expression. So let's go ahead and do it. So look how easy I do three times, and then I always like to put the negative one or whatever and substitute it in parentheses so I don't miss any sign changes. So now I do, I see that I don't have a negative, so I can just go ahead and do first the parentheses. Remember, negative one minus two is equals to negative three. So, so far I'm gonna have three times negative three squared minus 4. Awesome. Now let's go ahead and do the parentheses. Negative 3 times negative 3 is equals to positive 9. And I'm almost done. Finally, 9 times 3 is equals to 27. And 27 minus 4 is going to be equals to, let's see, 23. And that is my answer. Let's do another example. So look what we have here. We have another expression, but this time is a fraction. So how do I do it? Well, they tell me that they tell me that a is equals to negative two and b is equals to negative four. Awesome. Let's go ahead and do it. So two times negative two squared minus. Did you see how I'm putting parentheses? That way I don't forget that I have to work with my signs. Three times negative two plus five. All right, so let's check this. Whatever I have an A, I'm going to put a negative 2, and where I have a B, I'm putting a negative 4. So let's do it. Negative 2 times negative 2, that's going to be equal to 4. And then negative times negative is a positive. And just working my numbers, 3 times negative 2 is negative 6 plus 5. Awesome. 2 times 4 is going to be 8 which is 8 plus 4, negative 6 plus 5 is going to be negative 1. We're almost done. 8 plus 4 is equal to 12 over negative 1. That's equal to negative 12. And I got my answer. Okay, let's do another example. See here, they now give me three variables. They give me x, y, and z. Well, let's do it. I'm going to go ahead and do negative 3 minus 2 times, then I have here negative 5 plus 2 times negative 1 minus 1. Now, be very careful. If you are having trouble adding and subtracting numbers, please check our other videos because you don't have a calculator the day of the test. So you need to make sure you understand that when you have equal signs, you add different size. You're going to subtract and you're going to keep the, um, the bully sign or the largest one. So now let's do it. Negative 3 minus 2 is equal to negative 5 because I'm adding. Here I'm going to subtract. Negative 5 plus 2 is going to be equal to negative 3. And negative 1 times ne uh, minus 1, I'm sorry, is negative 2. Now I can multiply because, see, I don't have a plus or a minus. So that's an indication that I need to multiply. Negative 5 times negative 3 is going to be positive 15. But 15 times negative 2 finally is going to be negative 30. Awesome. You're doing a great job. Let's go ahead and test you. Let's see if you're ready. Okay. So they tell me, evaluate the following expression. They tell me that x equals negative 2, y equals 3, and z equals negative 5. Can you try to do it? All right. If you want, you can stop the video, try to do it, and let's see if we can get the same answer. So go ahead. Stop it. Work it out. And I'm going to work on the answer right now. So going back, I'm going to go ahead and plug negative 2 
see, you have to be very careful. This is actually like just, you know, plugging numbers. You just need to make sure that you're organized. Make sure that you don't forget your signs. And always double check your work. If you double check your work as soon as you're doing it, I promise you, you will never have trouble. Let's do it. Remember, I always need to work the exponents or the parentheses. Negative 2 times negative 2 is equals to 4. And then I'm going to write down 2 times 4. Negative 3 times negative 3 is negative 9. Negative 3 times negative 5 is equals to plus 15. And almost done. 2 times 4 is equals to 8. And then look, I'm just rewriting it to make it easy for myself. A minus 9 is negative 1. Finally, plus 15. And voila, we're almost done. Negative 1 plus 15 is equals to 14. Awesome! My answer is A. Thank you so much for doing such an amazing job. Don't forget, we can always Skype with you and we can always work together. Please watch our other videos and for more information, visit our website www.i-hey-math.com. Thank you, have a great day and also thanks so much for learning.